Hello? Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. One sec. Let me mount this up. There we uh, go. Uh, sorry about that. It's just... <laughs> You know what I you know what I appreciate you doing this for me. I know it's your busy, busy, busy time. Hey, what's up? It's DJ Delirious, and today I got a special guest. I got Santa Claus in the house. Thank you for joining me, Santa. Oh, oh, oh you're very welcome. It's only because you're on the knife list. Am I actually on the knife list? I wasn't sure this year. As of right now, you are, but Santa does check it twice. So the twenty third is the last time I check it, and you'll see if you're still on the knife list. Okay, okay. I'll make sure I'm good by the 23rd. Maybe the 24th things might change, but I'll try to be good for the 23rd. So what are you doing? Are you in the North Pole right now? As of right now, Sand is in the North Pole, Mississauga, which is uh, one kilometer from square one. I always thought the North Pole was in Mississauga. I just wasn't sure. <laughs> well, Santa has North Poles everywhere. This is just the satellite office. Okay, so uh, where, where's Mrs. Claus? What's Mrs. Claus up to tonight? Well, Mrs. Claus is with the elves. She, someone has to stay and be in charge of the elves. Otherwise, they'd be bedlam. They'd be breaking into the candy shops and getting all the candy instead of working. We needed someone to crack the whip. <laughs> crack the whip, eh? <laughs> it's a figure of speech. No whips are involved. Just lots of candy. Did you notice my shirt? Do you like my shirt, by the way? I wear this just for you. Look. Very festive. <laughs> Look, it, 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 it even jingles. Look. <laughs> oh, Santa loves all the festive, all the ugly sweaters, everything. They're all, they're all so, some of them are very creative, though. How about my lamp, though? Have you seen my lamp? Do you want to see my lamp? Look at this. Do you have the leg lamp? <laughs> <laughs> that became such a classic Christmas thing. Overcome by art. I know just the place for it. Right in the middle of our front room window. Yeah. So when you're, someone gave Santa shot glasses in the shape of that, but Santa doesn't drink, so. Oh, Santa doesn't drink. Just milk and cookies? Cookies and milk, but milk all the time, but cookies only on Christmas Eve and special occasions. So you're not lactose intolerant, are you? No, no, no. That movie was completely wrong. But that's a lot of milk. When you go into a house and you see more milk, more milk and cookies, like, don't you want something else at some point? Mm, uh, different countries give different things, actually. A lot of European countries leave a shot of uh, brandy or a shot of alcohol to keep Santa warm. Santa sometimes gives it to the reindeer, though. Oh, so you're going to let the reindeer uh, <laughs> drink and drive? I the Lee better. reindeer won't, but the, the rest... <laughs> Now, every country gives a little stuff, some different stuff. Here in Canada, it's more milk and cookies, but you're in Europe, there's uh, some of them give like apples and stuff like that. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. I heard you were on stage with Mariah Carey last year. Tell me about that. Oh, yes. The Queen of Christmas. She's absolutely amazing. Her and her team uh, with the MLSC uh, people at uh, Scotiabank Arena, they first contacted Santa. Uh, and uh, I believe they contacted a bunch of people. And uh, then they, Santa was waiting around and didn't know what was going on. I was like, OK. So I thought it wasn't going to happen. Then all of a sudden, their team reached out. Well, Mariah's picked you. I was like, well, Mariah's picked me? She said, yeah. So apparently it went through a cute couple vetting uh, stages and Santa went to Mariah. They showed Santa uh, Santa's photos and whatnot to Mariah. And Mariah said, I want that one. It was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, uh, once a lifetime experience and uh, her kids were actually amazing. So, uh, you know, you think, uh, you know, they might be a little spoiled. No, they were super well behaved. Uh, actually talented as well. Her daughter can sing, and her son's like a little rapper too. It, her whole team was phenomenal. Her boyfriend, uh, Brian, uh, was a great too. He helped out Santa because Santa doesn't see so well. So uh, he, he realized Santa couldn't read the teleprompter. <laughs> Wait, what? You couldn't read? It's okay, so so let's 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 go back a bit. So Santa arrived to the uh, what's it called to the uh, Scotia Bank Arena. He keeps on wanting to say ACC. So Santa arrived to the Scotia Bank Arena. Santa had no clue what he was doing. He just showed up. They didn't give any, Santa any direction. Just be there at this time, and we had to do rehearsals. And I was like, okay. So it shows up, and Debbie Reynolds comes to me. Okay, Santa, you're going to be giving Mariah an award. I'm like, okay, I figure, you know, Santa's going to bring it out of his, you know, Santa sack, give her an award. No, 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 uh, we have a speech yeah. for you. It was like, okay. Uh, um, they're like, oh, don't worry, it'll be on the teleprompter. And then she sort of <laughs> gave the right, she wrote the speech there, right? Like, so gave me the speech. And then it was like, it was like two paragraphs. I was like, uh, oh. okay. <laughs> Santa didn't say anything because he didn't want to, you know. So Santa's trying to memorize these two paragraphs. Santa wants to keep the gig. Santa's not gonna say he lied on the resume. 
<laughs> yeah, so, like, uh, so he's not right. I'm doing okay, that, but then uh, Mariah's uh, boyfriend, who's also a choreographer, Brian Tanaka, uh, really yeah. amazing guy. So he came and he, he was hearing Santa. He's like, he goes to Debbie, he goes to Debbie, and he goes, uh, Santa wouldn't say that. She's like, what do you mean? Because it sounded very wordy, as if I was the uh, the people that were from the you know the that board that gave the gave it to it. It's not like Santa brought it to her. It was like as if I was an executive, which didn't sound right. And uh, so he goes, well, maybe we should you know re rework it and you know shorten it down and this and that. And then and after he said that, she they, she started doing that, and I came. I go, thank you so much. He goes, oh, it, it seemed very wordy, and I go, yeah, Santa wouldn't be able to see the teleprompter. He's like. Oh, what do you mean? Well, uh, Santa's vision isn't what it used to be. You know, he's like, oh, well, it worked out then. <laughs> so that's awesome. That's uh, I'm glad that worked out because that seemed like it would have been really difficult in front of a huge crowd to say yes. like two paragraphs and not even be able to see the teleprompter. So well, to, to imagine having to memorize two paragraphs in like, you know, uh, maybe a couple hours and not knowing that yeah. you're going to even be speaking on stage. Right. It yeah. was just it's like. I was, it's already being nervous because you're in front of you know 18 or 20,000 people right yeah, yeah. I mean it's it's more you know Santa's always in front of people but that's a lot of people to be staring at you and you're on a microphone yeah you go to houses one at a time you don't go to yeah. every, it's like all the people at once you don't see big yeah, you, you have a group of night. kids maybe 25 kids or 30 kids you yeah. don't usually have you know a few thousand people yeah exactly exactly so yes. you, were, you were on stage with Mariah. There's a whole show. How many times were you on stage with her? Santa went on for two separate songs. Oh, you were there a couple days, right? I was there two days. And actually, Santa was on the mic in the ACC, sort of a bucket list thing. <laughs> so that's amazing. You were actually on stage with Mariah. And, and I saw she was really excited to meet you. Like, I saw a video of her saying she knows you and she was bragging and she was hugging you. Oh, oh, oh. I know him. Like, that was actually all her idea too. The Santa wow. just wanted to. Santa honestly was a fan. I had a CD. Just wanted to get it signed. Uh, so Santa waited after the show and you know let, let her relax and stuff. Because after the show, I know you're, you know you got you got to come down a little bit, right? And so yeah. uh, her boyfriend uh, said, "Yeah, come on and see her." Uh, we spoke for probably forty-five minutes. It was actually nice. And then uh, Santa goes, "Do you mind if you sign uh, Santa's CD?" And she said, "Oh, of course." And then after that. Well, we have to take a photo. I'm like, oh, okay. Took a photo. And then, no, no, we have to do a video. So we did a couple of takes wow. of it. And it was phenomenal. She was actually one of the nicest celebrities Santa's met. Like, it was it was phenomenal. That's amazing. Because when you think of Mariah Carey, you think she's going to be a diva. She's going to be like, stay away from me. Don't touch me. But she was really nice a, to you. I guess because you're Santa. She wanted to hug you. She wanted to brag that she knows you. She had you on stage. That was amazing. So, so Santa, what do you do during the year? Like when, when it's not after Christmas, like summer, what, what do you usually do? Well, you know, it never stops. Santa's always working. Santa takes a vacation around March. You know, it goes away with Mrs. Claus and uh, maybe an elf or two, but it's always working. You know, it, it takes a whole year to go, get everybody all those presents and everything else. Like, we, it takes a year. You, you, a lot of logistics, you know. We're not just making toys November and December. Yeah, of course. Makes sense. Also, but Santa's hobby is uh, photography as well. Oh, photography. That's great. Well, what kind of pictures do you take? Santa likes uh, event photography as well as uh, just, you know, models, uh, studio, any any type of photography in general that Santa likes, except abstract. He's not too much into the abstract stuff. Yeah, Santa likes models, but not abstract. Okay, got it. <laughs> Landscapes are okay. Well, with uh, Santa got a drone. Was it was fun uh, doing some photos and video with the drone this year. Oh, that's amazing. Mississauga North Pole must look really nice with a drone. Santa wants to get some snow, hopefully, because that'll look the best. <laughs> So Santa, I sent you a letter. Did you get my letter? Probably. Bernard looks through all of them and Santa just reviews everything. Bernard's my head elf. Oh, okay. So you don't know what I want for Christmas yet? Mm, I'll have to double check. I'm assuming it's something to do with DJ equipment. No, I was actually... <laughs> no, I was actually asking you for lower mortgage rates. Can you get me that for Christmas? Oh, Santa has magic, but unfortunately, uh, in Canada especially, he doesn't know what's going on with your, uh, with your uh, government. It's really weird. It shouldn't be this uh, this high. I mean, it's higher everywhere else, but it's nowhere near what it is here. It's crazy. Okay, well, if you can get me lower mortgage rates, that would be great. If not, then well, maybe I think they'll be lowering be soon, though. Oh, hey, Comet Junior. <laughs> is that Comet Junior? Is that your uh, this is Comet Junior here? Yeah, he's only Where's two Comet years Jr. old. 
Let me see Comet Jr. Can you see him there? Hold on. Come here. Not Come really. Here. Is he Hold a big on. boy? He's huge. Look. See him? Oh, he's nope. a big boy. Yeah. Well, the reason I called him Comet Jr. is because he looks a little like, you know, Comet Sr. <laughs> he's big. He's big. And he's a uh, very lovable and a little a little dopey, but in a good way. He's he's actually really smart, but he acts dopey. Does he inspect all the trees and all the presents for treats? Yes, he likes to dig into he likes to dig into Santa's toys uh, and everything. Like he used to chew up everything, but now he doesn't chew up everything. Now he just likes to grab like Santa's gloves and stuff like that. He helps out Santa. He's actually in the North Pole, Mississauga. He's always laying down in his bed while people are taking photos here with Santa. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Comet, relax. Yeah. Comet, relax. He wants to play. Go get it. <laughs> <laughs> Silly Comet. So, one sec. Comet, go over there. Move, That's comment. a nice pillow. Uh, so, ow. Okay. You have it up on your wall? It's, it's part of the decorations at the North Pole Mississauga. Oh, wow. And then the CD she signed. Yeah. What did she say? What did, what did, she, what did she write on it? To Santa Claus? Uh... I wish Santa could actually see it properly. I think it's, I think she, it's hard to read, but I mean, I think she wrote something. You need another prescription, Santa. Here, it's hard to read. You, even you have trouble, see? <laughs> yep. Love your friend. Two Santa... Uh, re real beard? Two Santa real beard? Real beard, yeah. That's Love right. your... Where does it say Mariah, though? Like... I think her signature is right here where this is, this is I think. That looks like a heart. That might be. A heart is with, that my signature? I think so. I don't plus, know. plus the question. And an inside. Oh, She's there nice. you go. Oh. You got the CD signed. There you go. That's amazing. Yeah. So that was that, that was actually really nice. I mean, it, yeah, it's, that's awesome. It's actually been the number one uh, Christmas song now. I think for six six or seven straight years. I know it's wild. It keeps getting more popular every single year. Like it's it's crazy. Like like I look at the Spotify charts every year. It's number one, number one, number one. She must be making a killing during the holidays. Well, wow. uh, for, according to uh, Google and everything, I think she's made over ninety million off of that song. That's insane, and and it's gonna keep making money every single year. It's insane. It's actually you know, and the funniest thing is, uh, it's a great song, but it's also she wrote it. Right? That's the best thing yeah. about it. So she's making, you know, she, she has the royalties on both ends, right? Yeah, that, that's amazing. She's, imagine any artist guaranteed a number one hit every single year on Spotify. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, she's Let, literally uh, guaranteed every single year. She doesn't have to do anything. Same song, no. number one, number one, number one. And now with the show she's doing, I think she's going to be doing the show every year or so. That builds yeah. it up even more because the show is actually she has lots of Christmas songs, right? But the show, yeah. people go. She she was sold out both days. That like last time uh, Santa was there, both days they had to do a second show because the first show sold out. Sounds like an amazing experience. I'm sure you're really busy at the North Pole, Mississauga, anyways. Oh, it's it's crazy. Santa has uh, over eighty over eighty bookings. Jeez. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Tomorrow amazing. Santa's up at seven in the morning. <laughs> wow. Well, I appreciate you doing this for me. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for stopping by, Santa. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. And uh, I don't even know. What Thank you say. for having me. And I appreciate you being on the nice list. And oh, 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 Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Hold on. I'll give you one more jingle. <laughs>